Hello students. Good evening. Myself Anas Yadav. Our channel is GB Physics Coaching Classes. Today we shall derive an expression for magnetic orbital dipole moment of a revolving electron. Class magnetic orbital orbital dipole moment They got to get the electrons in the orbit moves anti then the direction of the current is in the clockwise. The direction of the motion of the electron is just opposite to the direction of the current. So, due to this current, let E electron N is the mass of the electron, or let N E is the mass of the electron. Then this electron moves anti-clockwise the angular movement the direction of the angular momentum is upside and the dipole movement of this electron mean E is downside both are opposite to each other the direction of the angular momentum of the electron is upside and the direction of the magnetic moment of the electron is downside. The electron moves in anti clockwise direction. In the orbit around the nucleus, let the charge on an electron the velocity of the electron in the orbit of radius R is not then angular momentum of the electron 
Now put the value of VR from here. Here is equal to L upon N. L is the angular momentum and L is the mass of the electron. What you can suffix E here, E here, E here. So E upon 2 into L upon M E. Then mu e equal to E upon two M E. M E the mass of electron and L. the vector form mu e equal to minus because the direction of the dipole movement of the electron is downside and the direction of the angular movement of upside. So there is the minus sign e upon 2 m e into L vector. Now, from this equation, that this is 7, from equation 7, mu p upon L is equal to E upon 2 and E. Mu E upon L, this is known as gyro magnetic constant. It is constant. Its value is Put the charge of electron 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 upon 2 into 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31. This is in KV, this is in Coulomb. So it comes 8.8. .8 into 10 to the power 10 coulomb per meter per kg so mu e upon L is equal to 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power 10 coulomb per kg this is the gyro magnetic constant value of the gyro magnetic constant Okay, from equation 7, according to poor quantization, quantization law L equal to N H upon 2 pi. Electron can move on only on those orbits in which the angular momentum is the integral multiple of H upon 2 pi. Then put this value here, then mu E equal to E upon 2 M E into m x upon 2 pi or we can write it m e x upon 4 pi m e if you put n equal to 1 if 
a equal to 1 then a e is minimum or this is known as Bohas magneton or it is the unit of the dipole moment of it. Like in place here we put then we will put pH upon 4 pi m e. This is known as Bohat Magneton. And this is the unit of the orbital limit type of moment. Value of it the minimum equal to one point six into ten to the power minus. 90 into 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 upon 4 into 4 into 3.14 into mass of the electron 1.9 into 10 to the power minus 31. This is four. So this value comes nine point two seven into ten to the power minus twenty four. Okay. So confirm it. Correct and here meter square. This is this is the value of the Bohr manifold. Now again we explain the electrons moves in the atoms around the nucleus in anti-clockwise direction so the current direction of the current is clockwise the angular moment of develop is perpendicular to the loop in upside by the negative type of movement perpendicular to the damper e is the charge of the electron g is the velocity in a particular orbit of radius Ah. So the angular momentum of the electron in this orbit of radius r equal to r m e m e the mass of the electron we are right m e mass of electron. E is the charge of the electron, B is the velocity of the electron in orbit of radius R. So angular momentum R cross LB vector magnitude of L equal to that R M E B or we can write M E R B or R B equal to L upon M E. This is the third. Now the time period of the revolution, circumference upon velocity. So the current here, yeah, current is equal to charge of the electron upon time period. Time period is equal to 2 pi r upon B. We put the value of time period here, then T B upon 2 pi r with the current. Now, 
but the magnetic dipole moment of the electron is equal to current into area of the loop. So mu is equal to I A, A equal to area of the loop by R square, we put here, then this becomes E E R upon Q. Now from the value of E R, what we can write is R B is equal to put here. To find the area from there, then this equation becomes L upon N equal to this one. Now mu E upon L. If this is the vector form, and this is the scalar form. Now from equation. Settings. If we divide mu e by angular momentum, then it remains e upon u and e. So this is known as the gyromagnetic constant, and its value is 8.8 into 10 to the power 10 coulomb per kg. Now, from the Bohm's quantization law, angular momentum is equal to l. n into h upon 2 pi where n equal to 1 2 3 and so on for first orbit that is the minimum value of n equal to first one and for the second orbit second and this is the electrons goes in the upper orbit but in case of to define the bohm magnitude of the unit of the Dipole moment of the orbital electron. We put n equal to one here. Putting this value, n equal to n h upon two pi in place of in place of l. This equation becomes n h upon four pi n e. For the magnitude, when it is n equal to one, then this equation remains. E h upon two pi m e. This is the minimum value of the dipole moment of the electron. It is also known as the Bohr magnitude, and it is the unit of the dipole moment of the orbital electron. Now, the value of this is the value of the charge of the electron, value of Planck's constant h, four pi pi equal to three point one four. And mass of the electron, then it comes 9.7 to 10 to the power minus 24 ampere per ampere meter square. So this is all about our lecture for the magnetic or the dipole moment of the revolution. Now we finish our lecture here. Okay.